Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. We have a full slate on deck today as the uh, all three in the system were in action. We are going to start off with the Nashville Predators versus the Detroit Red Wings. Let's get it on. All right. So Nashville took on Detroit. Shots on goal in the first period. Both teams had 11 shots. In the second period, Nashville outshot Detroit 12 to 6. In the third period, Nashville outshot Detroit 16 to 7. And in total, Nashville outshoots Detroit 39 to 24. Detroit was better in the faceoff circle at 54% to 46%. Detroit went one for three on the power play while the Predators go one for two. Uh, Predators had eight penalty minutes to Detroit six. Uh, the Predators had 27 hits to Detroit's 25. Detroit had 16 blocked shots to the Predators' 12. Detroit had 16 giveaways to the Predators' 9. And Detroit had 12 takeaways to the Predators' 5. Scoring in the first period at the 848 mark for Nashville was Luke Shen scoring his first of the year, assisted by O'Reilly his third, and Nyquist his First, then at the 1326 mark for Detroit, Vladimir Tarasenko scores his second of the year, assisted by Bergeron and Casper with their first assists on the year. That was it for the first period. Then at the 317 mark of the second period, Detroit scores again on the power play with a goal from Dylan Larkin, his third of the year, assisted by Debrinka and Kane, their second of the year. Then in the third for the Nashville Predators on the power play, finally, Steven Stamkos gets on the board on the power play, like they said, with an assist from Forsberg, his third, and Marcia so his third. Then after that, it was all Red Wings. In the season series, they're done. They've played each other twice. But uh, Andrew Kopp gets his second with an assist for Billy or Jason Valeno and uh, Carter Fisher. And then Simon Edvinson scores an empty net goal, as well as Andrew Kopp scoring another empty net goal with an assist from uh, Rasmussen. The Preds fall to 0 and 5. No team in NHL history has went 0-5 and made the playoffs to start the season. In net for the Red Wings was Alex Lyon stopping 37 of 39. You can't beat Alex Lyon. I'm going to go into that. Um, stopping 37 to 39 with a 40 or 49, 94.9 save percentage. Uh, in net for the Preds was Soros. He stopped 19 of 22, giving up three with an 86.4 save percentage. You see, Soros said signing his new deal has not won. A game is averaging 3.64 goals against average with an 87.5 save percentage. That will not cut it. His best game is the one he played against Detroit where he made 21 saves and allowed two goals with a 90.5. Five per save percentage. He did have one where he had a 90.4 save percentage, but he gave up three. Versus Edmonton. This is not the start that the Nashville Predators or their fan base has envisioned. The Preds 
are back in action on Tuesday versus Boston. If you don't win next week, stick a fork in them. The seat's getting hot because if you can't beat Chicago or Columbus, it's going to be a bad week for you. It's it's the fans are getting a little restless. Me, we have three first round picks. We have a bunch of guys to build around. We have the oldest team in the league. Not saying we can't dig ourselves out of this, but it's getting tougher and tougher every loss. It looks right now like you lost against Dallas, you lost against Detroit. A lot of your games have been one goal or two goal games. This is a three goal game. You gave up five goals on 24 shots. So that means 19 saves in total. It's just not acceptable. It's just not. All righty. Well, with that, I'm not going to harp on it too much. Um, I think it's better to just move on. <laughs> yeah. And on to the Atlantic Gladiators versus the Indy Fuel. All right. So in the first period, Atlanta outshot Indy 8-7. to seven. In the second period, Indy outshot Atlanta 15-4. to four. In the third period, Atlanta outshot Indy 8-3. to three. And in total, Indy outshoots Atlanta 25-20. to 20. On the power play, Indy goes 0 for 3 with 14 minutes, 7 infractions. And Atlanta goes 1 for 5 with 10 minutes, 5 infractions. Scoring in the first is Cody Sylvester with an assist from... Pearson and Tobatai. Aha. Uh, Jackson Pearson and Derek Topenga. I'm going to just call him Topenga. Let's think of uh, what you call it. That one girl. All right. Um, three star. Oh, wait, before we get into that. Uh, goalies, because they were the stars. In net was Drew DeRitter. Stopping tw all 25. Uh, backup was Easton Hader. Ambrose uh, signee. And the net for the Indy Fuel was Peyton Jones stopping 19 of 20 with a 95 save percentage. Hey, he's doing better than Sorrow. <laughs> I should be careful with how much I do that. But until they start playing better, I'm going to call it as I see it. All right, so three stars of the game. Uh, Topping uh, was the third star of the game. First, second star of the game was Cody Sylvester. And with the shutout, Drew DeRider. All right, now here for Atlanta is 1-0. All righty, going forward. The Milwaukee Admirals take out of the Rockford Ice Hogs and a part of a Rockford at Home Admirals at Home series. Uh, yep. uh, yesterday, the Admirals won six to three. All righty, so let's move going on. All right. Well, like you said, the Admirals took out the Rockford Ice Hogs. Um, shots on goal in the first period, Milwaukee outshoots Rockford 12 to 5. In the second period, Rockford outshoots Milwaukee 10 to 6. In the third period, Rockford outshoots Milwaukee 9 to 8. And in total, Milwaukee outshoots Rockford 26 to 24. On the power play, Rockford goes 0 for 6 with 20 minutes, 7 infractions, while Milwaukee goes 0 for 4 with 34 minutes, 10 infractions. Scoring in the first period, 32 seconds in for the Admirals, was Reed Schaefer scoring his third of the year. 
assisted by Adam Willsby, his first, and Ozzy Weisblatt, his second. And at the 11-20 mark, the Admirals score again with a goal from Vinny Hinestroza, his second on the season, assisted by Zach LaRue, his second, and Jake Lucchini, his first. Then at the 18-54 mark for the Admirals, Nick Blankenberg scores his first unassisted. Then in the second, Brandon Baddock scores his first at the 13-14 mark with an assist from Marcel Marcel and Colin Felix. Uh, then at the 1626 mark of the third, uh, Frank Nazer scores his second with the goalie pulled, so they had the extra man out there. Uh, assisted by Cole Gutman and Landon Slager, uh, Gutman's first, Slager's second. Then at the 1848 mark, Zachary LaRue scores his third with an assist from Vinny Hinnestroza, his fifth, and Cal O'Reilly, his fourth. That was on the empty net. Uh, then Nick Blankenberg at the 1911 mark scores on the empty net, his second. Um, Hinnestroza has seven points in four games. Yeah. Um, in this game, Isaac Ratcliffe had a fight with Ethan Del Mastro, where the Admirals um, took the better. Uh, Admirals Isaac Ratcliffe takes the better of that one. He also got a ten-minute misconduct for instigating, as well as a two-minute instigating served by Keeper Bellows. Uh, Marino and Sanford get a roughing call. Um, then in the second, Mutter and Colin Felix get into it. Uh, that was a stalemate. I'd say it was a 50-50. Uh, those two just pounded each other until there were no helmets, and once the helmets were off, they they let it go, which I kind of like. I respect that. It's early in the season. Nobody wants to get hurt. Um, other than that, uh, Colton Doc gets a roughing penalty on Maru. Your three stars of the game. Well, before we get into that, in net for the... Uh, Rockford Icehogs was Mitchell Weeks. He stopped 21 of 24, allowing three. Um, two of those were two. The other two were empty net goals. Um, three stars of the game were third star of the game was Reed Schaefer with a goal. Second star of the game was Vinny Hedestrosa with a goal and assist. And first star was M -M -M Magnus Corona with 22 saves on 24 shots. Um, the Admirals um, attendance tonight was 7,465. Really good night. Um, your referees were Mike Sullivan and uh, Abraham Erith. Uh, Lions people were George, uh, Russell Jordan and Greg Offerman. Um, beyond that, the Admirals take a 2-0 series lead in with, with them. We played them another six. Or five, another four times in Rockford, and another four times at home. Um, that being said, um, the Admirals are now on a three game winning streak. Um, the Admirals play again on Wednesday. versus Iowa at seven. The Preds are back in action versus Boston at 7.45. And the Gladiators are back in action on I believe tomorrow. I yes, I do believe tomorrow. Um, let me double check that for you. Yes, they played the Indy Fuel at 3 p.m. And then they're back in action after that. Our next show for them is Friday 
as we will be covering that day um, with the Admirals, Wolves, Preds, Blackhawks, and <laughs> Atlanta Gladiators versus the Florida Everblades. <laughs> so Everblades fans, no, I'm not coming in with this this one by us. Y'all are used to me by now. Just know we're in it to have fun. Um, just so you know, next Saturday we are not doing a show. Wednesday we are not doing a show as we are occupied with um personal and family stuff. Uh, Wednesday is a personal day. Uh, Saturday is a family day due to the um, trick or treat timing here. Um, I, I have other obligations as I had. Um, I would like to thank uh, the Admirals and Preds for allowing us to do this another great season. Yeah. We will see you all on Tuesday for the Preds and Boston. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend. For Dan Goodwill and John Lundowski signing off.